welcome back to the channel triple l family it's your girl back at you i'm so happy to guys to see you back here today and listen we got something good for you that's how we are gonna be cooking in the microwave in the microwave you know what we're gonna make we're gonna make a pineapple upside down cake in the microwave but guys before we get started let's just make sure we say some things here make sure that you have microwave safe plate and utensil okay make sure that your um set the receptacle you know where you put your socket in make sure guys is at the right degree or how many degrees you need to cook for those objects um cook for a microwave too as well okay so these things are for safety reason all right make sure you have nothing blocking your doors uh make sure you don't leave it unattended Make sure that when you're cooking, you have a place somewhere where you can remove the item when it's hot and another surface to put it on, okay? Uh, if there's anything else I can think of, we'll talk about it then, okay? So what we're gonna do, ah, we're gonna make it. Pineapple upside down cake, microwave style. Let's do it. All right, guys, we've got the butter here. We're gonna have three tablespoons of butter. We have one eight ounce can of pineapple, but guys, I decide that, um, and so, since we're not doing the cake cake in a regular in the regular oven, I'm just reducing it to uh, just a one four ounce can. Okay, I've got some of my cherries here. All right, and then I've got a half a cup of my brown sugar, and of course I've got you can use the butter cake mix or whatever cake mix you want to use, guys. Okay, you can either use the deluxe pineapple if you like, and just follow the recipe that's on the back of the um, cake box. Okay. All right, so we're gonna get started, guys, and we're gonna go ahead and start with our cake mix first. All right, we put the cake mix in, and now let's go ahead and add our three eggs, and that's required from on the back of the box of the cake mix, guys. I think it's three eggs, uh, I'm a third cup of oil, and a cup of water. Yeah, y'all. guys this is the first time i'm showing you guys how we're doing the microwave cook all right if you're watching for the first time please go ahead and subscribe become part of the triple f family with the rest of us and we always love seeing each other here together leave us a thumbs up and a comment guys okay family the next video you see i'm gonna tell you about where i've been for just a minute not long you know school to start back so the university is open back up okay but um yeah I was getting back to you guys. Now, this is gonna be awesome, guys. All right, we're gonna mix it again. Okay, and as soon as we get this done, guys, we're gonna go ahead and start on our topping. Yes, our topping. It won't take long for that. That's the reason why I went ahead and uh, I decided to do the cake mix first, okay? Let's go ahead and put that together first. Okay, so we're going to put our three tablespoons of butter. Right, guys, this is going to be great, you know. And you can do this, guys, like, you know, like I said, just make sure you check to make sure that the receptacle is, you know, up to standard use for your microwave, you know, because anything can happen with that, you know. So we just want to make sure of that. So I've got three tablespoons of butter there, guys. But this is going to be awesome, y'all, in the microwave. Now, if you have the exhaust microwave like I do over your stove, more than welcome to use that. But I'm just going to use a little small uh, compact one here that we have, okay? Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put this in and smelt it, okay? Okay, so again, we're just going to stir it, blend it all together. I'm going to pour some of the juice off of the pineapple so I can just insert those... Um, in here um inside there so give me one second so i'm just going to place my pineapples in here and it should be able to fit about four on the small one So, ta -da! now we're going to go ahead and pour our batter inside, guys, okay? So, we're going to pour our batter in. I'm going to spoon some in first, okay? So, we'll interrupt the, um, 
the toppings on it. I'm just gonna try and spoon some first, okay? So we won't move any of the um, food and stuff that's below there. Right. If it pours out too, that's perfectly fine. I think everything is pretty much probably in place now. Alright, we're just gonna go ahead and just pour. We're gonna give it a little shake. Alright, so we're ready for the microwave. Alright, there you have it. Alright, guys, so now we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna close the door, we're gonna do the power level, okay? Alrighty. Okay, guys, so now each power level uh, level is different, okay? So it depends on your microwave. Now on my hood uh, microwave, it's just to have a cook time and then you choose your power level. But on this sharp here, I put in the time first. I'm gonna put in 12, um, excuse me, sorry. I'm gonna put in uh, 13 minutes, okay? Okay, and then I'm gonna choose my power level and I'm gonna say 10, okay, for 10. Okay, so it should be in tune. And then I'm just gonna hit start. Okay. And guys, remember too, every three, three and a half minutes, you need to rotate it, okay? About maybe a quarter, about a quarter or so. Just rotate it, okay? All right. All right, guys, we do ask to make sure you use your hand mittens or some nice, uh, you know, the little uh, muffin things or the little handle meat things, okay? I can't even think of it right now, okay? So now I'm just gonna rotate the cake. If you wanna look a little bit of it, I'm gonna rotate it just about maybe, maybe a quarter of a way a little bit, just a little bit. Okay guys, so this is what we have so far. Um, we're gonna make sure we do, we're gonna add the um, two minutes to it, the three minutes to it, because I only did, what, 12 minutes, I think, instead of 15. So we're gonna add that to it, we have one minute left, so we're gonna have three. So we're gonna have one more rotation, okay? It's only like a quarter of a rotation, but it's not too bad, guys, look. It's, still, it's firm, okay? You see the pineapples down here too? Yeah. So make sure you use your little um, hand mittens and stuff too, guys, okay? All right, so let's close it up. All right, guys, voila! All right, so, yeah. And it looks like a cake, guys. And unless you see the bottom of it, too, okay? So I wanna let you know that we turned the cake about maybe maybe, like maybe a little quarter of an inch or so, like every three minutes. I added, I did add the two extra minutes to it because remember, I only did, I think, 13 instead of 15. So yeah, I added the two extra minutes. And then, like I said, every three minutes, we kind of rotate it just a little bit in there, okay? Um, so yeah, this is it. We're gonna let it sit here and cool a minute, guys. And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna let you see what it looks like, okay? Alrighty. Oh, look at that, it looks so pretty. Look, guys, it looks so pretty. Oh, we probably should've used the square plate. Look at there. Oh, and there you have it. Look at there. Microwave style. Oh, that's honey. That's the little uh, decoration, guys. That, that's my little piece of decoration there. That's part of the plate there. So pretty. Look at there, guys. And it's microwave. You like? So, I, guys, I do want to say one thing, too. Um, make sure you put your toothpick in, just like you would your cake sometime, and just check it. And if, of course, if it's clean, you know it's done. I added my two minutes because I said between 12 to 13 minutes, and I think I only put 13. So that was the reason why I added. You don't want to overcook it. Remember, it is the microwave. It would harden on the outside terribly, okay? So remember that, guys, okay? Yeah, how pretty, how pretty, how pretty. All right, guys. All right, she smells absolutely delicious, guys. Let's go ahead and see if we can get a little cut in here. Okay. Trey says, here, honey, you hear him back there hollering. He's ready, he's already hollering. Grandma cake, Grandma cake. <laughs> Y'all remember, this is microwave, okay? Microwave, okay? Something that's gonna be quick. Let's see what she look like there. Yeah, she looks pretty good to me. What do you think, guys? Mm-hmm. Mm. Let's go ahead and get a taste and see what it tastes like here. I'm just blowing my diet. Mm. 
Mmm. Got a nice little rubbery to it. Look. Look, it's got a nice look, not rubbery, a little spring to it. Look how it's spring in there, like a little moisture. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's good. Oh gosh, yes, yeah, she's good. Now, the next time I do it, I think I'll probably add some nuts to it. Uh, <clears throat> of course I like, I like pecans, pecans, which one you want to say. But y'all, she is absolutely delicious, guys. And remember, it is microwave, guys. Easy as pie. And we're going to have some more microwave, too. That's right. Guys, we hope you enjoyed this video of the microwave upside down pineapple um, cake. And we hope you enjoy it more that we have that's going to be coming to you pretty soon, guys. Okay? So remember, guys, continue to share the love from the life that God gives us for everyday living. Yeah, y'all. Uh-huh. Yeah, y'all.